Hi all, welcome to another art video. Today I'm gonna be using my Sennelier iridescent colors and also just normal colors to paint a beetle. Uh, so first of all, let me show you the type of paper that I'm using. So this is the Windsor and Newton pastel paper and it comes in six different colors. And uh, most of these papers are used up now. I have used them for other paintings. And you can see that they have light gray, dark gray, beige color, black, white, and multiple other colors. So um, let me show you that. Oops, let, uh, let me get another piece of paper because that one is all used up. This is a new paper. You can see that one side of this is, this has some two. And the other side is smoother than the opposite side that is how the pastel papers are made I'll be using the rough side because I'm working with pastels so I want the surface to grab on to the pigment that I'm applying on the paper but generally speaking when you're working with uh, Sennelier oil pastels even working it with a smooth surface is okay because these pastels are very creamy you don't really need a lot of tooth for the pigment to hold on to the paper and I will also show you the types of pencils that I'm using to sketch my drawings so I'll, I'll generally use three types of uh, pencils to do the initial sketching one is these pastel pencils and then the charcoal pencil or this blender from Derwent uh, this is the Derwent Colorsoft pencil blender it's easier to cover the pencil marks underneath when I'm using any one of these three types of pencils. And the color of the pencil usually depends on the color of the paper. I guess that's pretty obvious. For example, if I'm using a black paper, I'll be using uh, white color pencils so that the drawing really stands out against the black background. But the Derwent blender that I'm using right now works equally well on either black or white or pretty much any other color for that matter so let me just quickly sketch the beetles outline as you can see i'm a little rusty because i haven't been able to do a proper drawing in a long time oh and by the way this is a painting that was done by another youtuber i i will link to her video in the video description her name is lindsay and she does this painting on her channel using alcohol markers and i thought this would be a perfect subject to be painted using uh, iridescent colors because the iridescent colors are very metallic they are also called metallic colors because they are shiny and very bright and vibrant uh, so there's a reason why they're called metallic um, and the beetles wings and generally the uh, appearance is very shiny um, so uh, she when she was using the alcohol markers she also used very bright and vibrant colors so that was the point that I thought when I saw that video that I could do this using iridescent colors and Senele would be the best pick all right, once the sketch is done, I'm going to block off some of the colors using watercolors. This is a practice that I almost always use when I'm painting with oil pastels, especially Sennelier oil pastels. Because the Sennelier's are super creamy and very soft, I do not paint a whole, uh, whole painting using only just Sennelier. You can paint the background using watercolors, or acrylics or even using a hard oil pastel brand and use Sennelier as the topmost couple of layers so that's a common practice I see different patches of colors in the beetle so I'm basically just blocking off those colors using uh, watercolors 
but once it's dry you will see that it's not very visible there are multiple reasons for this one reason is because the watercolor brand that i'm using is not uh, artist quality it's a student grade brand so the colors are not they are not that pigmented obviously but for my purpose that is okay because i'm anyway going on top of this using oil pastels this is just as an initial guide for me to know where the uh, where the colors are Okay, so I'm using my Sennelier oil pastels, but not all of them are iridescent colors. You can see that I have some normal oil pastel colors as well. I don't think I have ever used only iridescent colors in a painting. That's probably because iridescent colors are very, very uh, shiny. So when you mix them up with normal colors, you can really control the amount of shine you want to appear in the painting. And at some point I thought, why did I paint, uh, draw this beetle so big uh, so that it fills the paper? I thought it would have looked a lot better if the beetle was slightly smaller than this. Um, but I didn't want to do this again just for the video. And I thought when you're doing this yourself, if you do this yourself, you can probably uh, paint, uh, draw the beetle smaller so that it doesn't really fill the entire paper like this. It doesn't look quite natural for a beetle to be this big, I guess. I just put a very light touch over the oil pastel marks so that they just lightly blend with each other and I'm also using a uh, tooth uh, sorry earbud to blend the colors and I really did enjoy this project it's the first painting I painted for uh, after a long time actually uh, I did, did do my uh, paintings of my children's books myself illustration but this felt somewhat different because those were done for a particular project so they felt like work this i kind of enjoyed this because this felt like relaxation and hobby and the high putting the highlights on using a white pastel and i'm also using this uh, faber castell black brush pen to do some uh, shadow areas as well this is how the beetle looks once I'm done. Uh, it's not perfect. I'm still not completely happy with it. But I thought I'll stop this project at this point. Uh, maybe I'll come back to it and start with a smaller beetle next time. So that it looks more natural on the paper. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this small video. Uh, from next week, I'll bring you more art videos. And during the weekends, I don't have anything to do than these art projects. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time with more art videos. Bye-bye.